talked about all over pattern repeats multiple times on this channel, how to create them, how to recolor them in Illustrator and in Photoshop. But what if your print is engineered? Or what if you don't have a pattern repeat and you don't have time to put the pattern into repeat? You still gotta show that print on the CAD. So what do you do? Well, one of the best things that you can do is to create a clipping mask. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. But first, for those of you who don't know, let's talk about what an engineered print is and what a clipping mask is. First, let's talk about an engineered pattern. And depending on who you're talking to, you may hear them refer to this as a placed pattern. This is a graphic or pattern that does not have a repeat, so it can't be made into a swatch. For every size, the pattern or graphic has to look exactly the same. Most t-shirt graphics are like this, but what's different about a placed pattern is that it's usually larger than just the average t-shirt graphic. It may extend past the edges of the front bodice. It also can't be printed like a t-shirt. Most of the time, a printer will have to print panels on fabric yardage, place a pattern piece on the panel, and then cut out the pattern. A clipping mask is a closed shape that covers a part of a graphic or pattern so that only the part that falls inside the shape is visible. A lot of people just use the flat sketch itself as the mask. So let's say we have a print that we want to show on a skirt, but it's not in repeat. Instead of trying to fake a repeat, I'm just going to mask it into the skirt. I'll use the shape of the skirt, which I already know is a closed shape, to create the mask. And instead of using make clipping mask, I'm going to use the draw inside mode, which is a newer and more efficient way to make a clipping mask. Place the graphic where it should be on the sketch, then cut it. The shortcut is control or command X, or you can go to edit, cut. Next, select the shape that will be the mask and choose draw inside mode. You'll see dotted lines in the corners of the object so you'll know right away that you're in the right mode. Next, choose paste in place. This will paste your graphic in the same spot you cut it from. And since you're in draw in side mode, it will place the pattern inside the skirt. To get out of draw in side mode, click on draw normal or double click on the canvas. As with a regular clipping mask, you can double click the mask to edit the placement. So if you don't like where you place the print or you did a regular paste instead of a paste in place, you could always update the placement of the print on the sketch. And this works for all different types of place graphics, whether it's a graphic that wraps to the back of the garment or a stripe that falls in a particular spot on a top. So this is something that can be used for a variety of fashion purposes. I know I've used it many times for many different things during the course of my career. And if you're unfamiliar with how to use Draw Inside, you can check out this video on my channel. It's one of my older videos, but the information is still good and valid. Last thing I wanted to mention is that if you are looking for a formal Illustrator for Fashion Design beginners course, you can now take my course online. So click the link in the description to learn more. Thanks for watching today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it if you found it helpful. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.